Welcome to PC Woods Kits Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2. This is a 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler. This is something that Arctic has been doing for years. They've perfected the art of cooling basically. You can see here they've added a little VRM fan on the side of the pump. So this is a 40 millimeter 3000 RPM up to 3000 you can see it right there which is supposed to cool around on the motherboard the VRMs. The pump itself goes from 800 to 2000 RPM controlled of course through the pulse width modulation. You can see the power that it consumes and of course the lengths, the measurements, the sizes of the tubes. That's very important. I do like the fact that they're quite wide. There's a lot of circulation of water and it's maintenance free of course. Two fans, they're both 120 millimeters, those P12 fans from Arctic and they run up to 1800 RPM and I'll be testing those as well. You can see there the airflow and of course their static pressure you can see the voltages and that fact that the bearings are fluid dynamic bearings so that's very nice they're cool and um, very you know smooth operation which is what we like the very interesting thing about this is that it's just a four pin power connector to uh, get all of that running so the pump the fans everything is just one four pin power connector which makes it quite easy to install and again here are the different specs of course it'll work with an Intel or AMD CPU obviously it comes with the uh, kit and hardware for that and don't forget the MX4 thermal compound their award winning thermal compound which I've been using for years terrific stuff and um, well here are some more specs in case you're wondering two years warranty on that one as you can see there on the box and uh, this is Ryzen ready of course and I'll be putting that to the test I do have a third gen Ryzen 5 3600 which will be putting this on a ASRock board. We're going to look at those details in just a second. In the box you're going to get all the hardware, the screws, the plates, the brackets, everything that you need including the MX4 thermal compound. You can see that the two fans actually come installed out of the factory so they're already on the radiator which makes installation easy. I have two additional fans that I'll be testing adding those as well later on. First I'll be testing it as is out of the box with just two fans. So the setup that I've got basically is going to be using the ASRock X570 Steel Legend motherboard. Of course there's the MX4 thermal compound. Okay, Again award winning definitely recommend this type of thermal compound if you're uh, wondering what to get if you're shopping around for that. Arctic here like I said has already installed the fans. You can see the thick sleeve cables with the cable management basically they've hidden the, the, the four pin cable uh, connector there inside of the sleeve so it's really nice and clean um, when you go to install it you know there's not much uh, hanging around now you can see there the Ryzen 5 CPU and basically when I go to install things first things I like to do is put the CPU in there put some thermal grease take away the bracket that comes on the motherboard of course for the AM4 AMD uh, CPU I need to take those away and then I attach the pump basically which needs four screws so when I take away the bracket from the motherboard which is what I'm going to do next after uh, I show you here on the screen the thermal compound then I'll just put the uh, the pump on so there is the board with those two brackets as you can see then I go ahead and just unscrew those very easily they're gone now it exposes the four screws I put some thermal grease just a very thin coating by the way on that uh, top portion of the CPU. Not too much, just a nice thin layer of that, okay? So it's got to look something like this. Some people like to just drop a little pea size in the center and just hope that it squeezes. I don't like that. I like to actually cover the whole surface area. Very thin coating right there. And then I'll put this oriented as such, put in one screw at a time, alternating diagonally, and then going through a circular motion to tighten it nice not not to over tighten it but just make sure that it's you know nice and snug and doesn't move around it's got some really nice chrome type of look and feel on that too look at that 40 millimeter uh, tiny little fan there that's the VRM fan that's supposed to cool off the surrounding area on that motherboard as you can see right there it's up and running now all of these components have been individually reviewed by the way so I have separate video reviews for everything if you want to review that at the end of the video I'll add the links you can see there the ASRock board. I've got some great Patriot Viper uh, memory and of course the Sapphire Pulse graphics card as well, the 55 
100 XT. So here are all the parts, okay? As you can see right there, again, all of these reviewed independently so you can see them in motion and uh, look at all the specs of these as, uh, as they run on this machine. In the BIOS, okay, in the UAFI settings, I've overclocked this machine to really push this CPU cooler to the test, okay? So I've already overclocked the processor to 4.2 gigahertz, all six cores, 12 threads, okay? Everything's running 100% all at that. And uh, the memory also was overclocked. So I'm really pushing the board to, um, to uh, increase its power and performance, okay? And I'm putting the pump to PWM mode, of course, full, full speed, and the, um, the, the rest of the fans on the board are, are default standard settings. So system temperatures. Okay, so with the two fans that it comes with on the radiator, as is out of the box, you can see there on idle around 25 degrees Celsius, uh, full load, 100%, all 12 threads are going at 4.2 gigahertz, which you normally would never do, but just for testing purposes, you can see here that it goes all the way up to 80 degrees Celsius, okay, at 100% load. Now, if you were to just do regular gaming, let's just say you're playing Battlefield 5, which is what I did, you get an average of about 44 degrees Celsius, okay, while you're, you're playing uh, a game there. So the processor is being cooled off very nicely while you're playing the game, and uh, it'll maybe go up to 57 maximum, as you can see right there. So very respectable, very, very nice. You can see the board as well as kept cool. Now, if I add two additional fans, the CPU fan one speed is locked in at full load, at 1800 RPM, so those are the, the 120 millimeter fans from Arctic, and uh, now I've got four fans total for a push-pull effect, and you can see there that the temperatures have actually gone down a degree or two, so it is helping. It is helping to add two additional fans, and the VRM fan that it comes with is probably helping lower another degree okay so I really like the fact that they made it easy to install with just the one four pin power connector that 40 millimeter VRM fan seems to be making a small difference you know it's a positive difference but very small but it's it's there uh, large radiator is obviously doing most of the work to cool things off which is what I like cable management is there you, you, you know the sleeves and the looks are great and the price is right for uh, under ninety dollars you know not bad at all compared to other uh, you know similar CPU coolers so here are the links for different uh, components click on any one of these right now and I'd like to thank Arctic for providing it comment below let me know what you think and thank you for watching